What's up, everybody? It's your boy. It's Ty's World TV from Geek Load Stars. How you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so, guys, tonight I saw Monkey Man, okay, starring Dev Patel. And uh, I don't know what to say about this movie. <laughs> I'm not even going to hold y'all. Like, And I usually would uh, record these, like, as soon as I got out of the theater, but it got a little hectic. And I had to wait till I got outside. So that's what we that's why I'm outside doing it. So, uh, and I was thinking about it, and I don't know what to say about this movie. Like it's it's there's more bad and good to to good with this movie. And I'm very surprised about it because I I, I thought I was expecting something, but it was something else. Like the trailer tells you what it what it's it tells you one thing, and then when you actually get it, it's something else completely different. Like, the trailer tells you it's going to be, like, so action crazy, like, kind of like the John Wick movies are. It's n it's not really like that. It's It focuses on story first, then you get to the action and a little bit later. Uh, and that's my other problem with this movie. This movie is very conjointed uh, when it comes to the story. The story is easy enough to get, but it's like... Mind you, the director is Dev Patel. For those of you that don't know, Dev Patel is a, uh, he's the, uh, he played in the Slumdog Millionaire. He was the main character for that. And he was the, and he was Zuko in, uh, the last Airbender movie, which that will be the last time we ever mention that movie ever. Okay. So, um, he directed this movie and started this movie too. And that's the thing. I can tell Dev Patel, no shade on him, he needs to do a couple of more movies to really get better. Because this movie wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. It's like somewhere in the middle. And it's kind of crazy. Um, the action scenes were dope. Uh, it got a little sloppy in the beginning, but after the movie like goes into it, when you per get into the second and the third act... It gets way better, like especially in the third act. It's crazy. Like the camera work gets better because I didn't like the camera work first time. Uh, it was a little bit, a little bit close up. Uh, did too many cuts for those first couple of fights. I wasn't feeling that. Uh, yeah, I mean, this movie should have been a lot better than it was. I, I, I have to say that. So, would I tell you to go and waste your money to go see this movie? Um, first, I wouldn't say it's not a waste. I would say that um, this movie, I can tell, it's either you're going to really love it or you're going to really hate it. It's like one of those movies. Um, and also, Dev Patel, as a, as a director, he needs a little bit more movies under his belt before he can direct. Now, see, this is not a Michael B. Jordan situation uh, from the Creed, you know, the, the main character from the Creed movies. You could tell Michael B. Jordan when he directed the third Creed movie that this dude has been around acting like he's been around the business for a long time and really studied it and it shows with this movie you don't really see it like that and that's the difference so i feel like and i get no shade on day dev patel i feel like he needs to get a couple of more movies to really you know get the um uh how can I say it? He, he needs a little bit more movies under his belt to be a better director. Because he has the potential for it. This movie showed he has potential. But he has to work at it. That's the thing. And again, uh, he also co-wrote the story or wrote the story. I'm not sure which one it is. However, the story could have been a lot stronger. Um, and then, like I said, the pacing was not great. It really wasn't. Uh, there were times where I almost fell asleep a couple of times because the the, the, the story was moving so damn slow. I, and it, it sucks to say that, but it is what it is. Um, everybody did a good job acting wise, though. They did a good job. And, you know, it has certain uh, cultural things that if you're not of that race, you're probably not going to get. Uh, so it's heavily a movie for that culture, if you will. And it's cool. I mean, it's still enjoyable. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I did enjoy it, especially when you get to the second and the, especially when you get to the third act, honestly. 
Um, because like I said, the movie got a lot of pacing issues. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, so would I tell you to go see this movie? Absolutely. And it's an acquired taste. It's either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. Honestly, I'm in the middle. Um, I'm not going to give full spoilers because I'm going to do a full spoiler review of this movie. Uh, but what can I say so far? I might change my mind maybe, but if I had to give it a grade or a score right now, I'd probably have to give it a 6.7 out of 10. Not great, not good, not bad and not horrible. It's like somewhere in the middle, you know? So, guys, let me know what you thought about this. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Deuces. Be safe. Have a good one.